Hello everybody and welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey. Today I'll be showing you how to set up the Netgear AX4300 6-stream Wi-Fi router. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so right out of the box we have the router, the wireless router, antennas with colors on them. Each uh, antenna color goes to a different size, red for rear and blue for the sides. And we have a charger and of course a manual and an ethernet cable to connect your modem to the router. Okay, let's get started with the setup. Alright, so first thing we are going to connect the antennas to the router. Each antenna goes to either side or rear and each of them have colors as you see side for blue and rear for red and let's get them connected and of course you can see over here that it says side on it and the rear would say rear on it if you throw the packs away without realizing that. Alright, so let's get the sides connected and the rear. Alright, so after connecting the antennas, we're going to get this hooked up on our main modem and uh, let's switch our cameras over there so you can see the setup and where everything goes. Alright guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the film that is covering the device. This film actually is covering the vents and we need those vents unlocked. Alright, make sure you don't throw this away. As you see over here, it has the SSID or wireless name and it has a password. This password and wireless name is going to allow us to access this modem from our computer and connect to it so we can set it up. Alright, so now let's get this device connected to the power source and ethernet port all right so over here there's a yellow ethernet uh, input over here that we're going to connect our modems ethernet to I'm going to use my own cable connected to my own standalone modem now each modem is different there's an all-in-one modem that comes with Wi-Fi this one over here is just a standalone that you can purchase I'll keep links in the description below I'll also keep an explanation up here you can click it right up here for more explanation about these devices now let let me connect the power source over here like this power source goes right over here and let's get this connected all right so after connecting the device and turning it on you're going to notice that the lights are going to turn white and if this light over here does not turn white like right now it's turned into red that is okay we will continue the setup on the computer and get connected to the internet and after verifying all the settings this light should be white all right let's get to the computer all right guys now we are on the computer we are going to connect to that device using that sticker that we have and the name of that sticker was Netgear 03. Here we have 5G and here we have a 03. So either the 2 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. So I'm going to connect to the 5G right now. Now the antennas do support or the device does support both bands 2 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So if you guys don't know what these are now you know. Alright so let's input that password that we got on that sticker. And let's click on next. I was just verifying the password. It's, go it's going to take a few moments and get connected like this. And that is okay. It says no internet. No problem. That's because we need to get it set up. All right. So let's open our browser to continue the setup. So we need to input the IP address so we can access the menu for this device. And it'll be 192.168.1.1 and click enter or press enter. It says over here, of course, that you can connect the Netgear to your smartphone using an app and continue the setup, but I do prefer this way. So I'm going to click on if you don't have a compatible smartphone, click here. We're going to agree to the terms. It's going to, of course, check for the internet connection, but I don't think it is going to connect. Uh, we're going to still run a little setup over here for it to connect. And if it gives us problems, we have to turn it off, it and the modem together and turn them back on. But it's not going to be in this case right now. 
So we're going to click on no, I want to configure internet connection myself. So and click on next and then OK. Over here is going to ask us what password that we are going to acquire. This is not the Wi-Fi password. This password is for the administrator interface account for the device. All right, security questions over here. What was the name of the Netgear product you purchased? Question number two, what is your younger sister's first name? And we're gonna click on next. And again, it's gonna ask us for that password. And the username over here is going to be admin, A-D-M-I-N, that's the default uh, username. For and whatever password you just created, So after arriving at this interface over here, um, it, it says internet not connected and that is okay. That is because the modem needs to be restarted. The modem is the device that comes from your internet service provider. That device needs to be turned off and turned back on in order for it to release the IP address that it currently holds and renew that IP address and give it to the new router. So after disconnecting for 10 seconds and then turning that modem back on for a few minutes, you're going to come back over here and you are going to click internet and then click on apply and you're going to wait for the settings to update and i'm going to fast forward this video and then we are going to have internet and we will test it All right so after it has updated you can click on home And you can see that the status of the internet is good. You can even notice that right now over here it is connected. And let's click on the plus sign here. Let's run a simple test by speedtest.net. All right, you're gonna click on go after the page loads. It's gonna check our download speed. My download speed is approximately 100 megabit per second. Yes, it's showing a little bit lower as I am downloading a few things that's taking from the speed, but that'll be okay. But approximately, it'll be between 90 and 100 megabit per second. And um, the upload speed that I normally pay for is six megabit per second, which as you see over here, it's showing fine with a six megabit per second. All right, guys, let's get back to that configuration menu. So. We, I can show you how to change the wireless name and password. If you want to change the Wi-Fi name and password for this device, you can click on wireless over here and you can change the SSID name and you can change the password by inputting a new password over here and then clicking on apply. Well, everybody, I hope this video helped you out. Please consider subscribing to our channel, share, and see you again next time for another tutorial. Yeah, guys, have a wonderful night.